Welcome to my safe gaven. But yeah, guys, as you can tell, things are looking a little bit different in terms of the formatting in this video. Because if you joined me on the season finale, the live season finale review for The Last of Us, you noticed for whatever reason, my laptop randomly started cutting off towards the end of the review. And it's never done that before. And now it's doing it all the time. And so if you saw my post that I made yesterday here on the channel, I said I had to take my laptop to get it fixed. So a lot of my reviews are going to be coming a little late because now it's going to take about five days for me to get my laptop. So I won't be able to like edit my videos or anything like that. But then I was like, you know what? I still have a camera. And so I can still figure out some type of way to record videos where there's a will, there's a way. It might not look the same or look as good as my normal videos, but you're still getting me, you're still getting the Black Gay Comic Geek, and you're still getting the Safe Gaven. So yeah, as you can tell from the title of this video, and I'm wearing the shirt, let's talk about non-spoilers, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. But also, just like I say in every video, do me a favor and hit the like button. It'll really help with the YouTube algorithm, getting this video and channel out there, and also watch, like, share, comment, interact for the all-gay rhythm. And so yeah, this movie is a sequel to the original Shazam movie. It sees Billy Batson return as the superhero Shazam, as well as the entire Shazam family. And they're coming against some new enemies. And overall, I had fun with this movie. I liked this movie. I thought it was a good time. And in this movie, unlike the first one, you got to see more of the Shazam family, not just Billy Batson and his family in human form, but them in their superpowered form. So you got more of Megan Good, you got more of Adrian Brody and all the other characters from Shazam. And so I liked getting to see them more in their superpowered form and in their superpowered costume, more specifically Megan Good. Like, you really believed that Megan Good was a 10 year old kid in adult form. Like she played the hell out of that role. And I honestly would love to see more of her character. Like give me a Darla spinoff or an HBO Max show following her character. And the movie in many ways reminded me of Scream. It was very self-referential and meta being that it was following a bunch of kids. So there was a lot of references. Like if you saw the trailer, they referenced the Fast and Furious movie with the family aspect. And there was a lot of moments like that in the movie that I thought made it fun and made you believe that, yeah, these are kids at the end of the day. Now, at some points, I did feel like the jokes were becoming a little bit too much. And it also felt, a lot of moments felt very tropey. And like, you're like, okay, this is going to happen. And then it happened. Or they're going to do this. And then it happened. But like I said, overall, I still had fun with the movie. And I think the most interesting character in this movie and the one that I was the most invested in was the character of Freddie Freeman, played by Jack Dylan Grazier. And for those of you that don't know, he was also Eddie in It. He also voiced Jonathan Kent in Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons. And he, he was also Alberto, funny enough, in the movie Luca. And for those of you that don't know, he came out as bisexual, I believe it was last year or 2021. And honestly, his character, Freddie Freeman, was the main driving force of the story, even more than Billy Batson's Shazam was. And that's honestly where it gets to my problem with this movie, because this should have been Freddie Freeman's movie. And honestly, like, the weakest part of this movie was Zachary Levi playing Shazam. And he was honestly in this movie more playing Shazam than Billy Batson was. Like the actor that played, I think is uh, Angel Asher, he was barely in the movie. And I honestly felt bad for the kid because I'm like, where is Billy? Like it's all Shazam. And part of me was wondering like, was that a Zachary Levi thing? Like he did he want to be in the movie more because he wasn't in the movie in the first movie as much? Because you saw the kids, a lot of the kids in both their normal form and their superhero form. But when it came to Shazam, he was in superhero form like pretty much the whole movie. And I don't know, like I just felt like Zachary Levi as Shazam was trying too hard and I just wasn't connecting with his character. And then also not even just that, but like this is the second movie, like who is he? Who is Billy Batson? We didn't really get much of the character of Billy Batson and Shazam. It was just, he was just there on screen. However, when it came to like Billy, Freddie, Freddie Freeman and even the other characters, like we got to know more about them as people and really... I feel like the hero's journey for this movie really followed Freddie Freeman. And so because of that, I wish the movie went in a certain direction with his character, but it didn't. And not only just that, but I felt overall the villains were weak. Like I liked Helen Mirren's character and I also liked uh, Rachel Ziegler. I think that's her name. I like those two characters as the antagonist. Granted, what they did with Rachel Zegler at the end, like again, there's certain things that they did with these characters or where these characters ended up that I was just like, 
That was disappointing. But Lucy Liu's character as the villain, I felt she was wasted in this movie. Like I think about how villainous she was in Kill Bill and then I see her in this movie. Like Lucy Liu was definitely wasted and her character was just, it wasn't as menacing. Like they could have did way more with her character than they did. But the CGI, like, it was in the trailer. So the moment where she's riding on that dragon full Daenerys Targaryen style, like, that dragon looked great. But yeah, but overall, like I said, I had fun with the movie. But at the same time, I do feel like they chose the safe route with this movie where they could have really had this movie make an impact. And once you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this is obviously a non-spoiler review, so I can't say what I want to say. But I still had fun with this movie, but at the same time, it's still pretty forgettable and it's still not something I would want to revisit again. But overall, I definitely think it was still better than Ant-Man, which at this point, I'm like, wow, I'm saying a DC movie is better than the Marvel movie? What's going on? <laughs> but yeah, overall, I would recommend people see Shazam. Like I said, it was fun. It was cute. Zachary Levi was the worst part for me, but he wasn't the main focus of the movie, to be perfectly honest. So... Yeah, with that said, what did you guys, if you saw Shazam Fury of the Gods, what did you think about it? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, like I said, if you can like, share, comment, interact on this video for the all gay rhythm. Also, if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, please check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe for more and hit that bell notification button so you're alerted every single time I post a new video. And tell your friends, families, and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.